So to get started on the first talk, uh, I'm going to talk about mashups. My name is Dylan Kuhn. I am a freelance WordPress developer. And I came to WordPress uh, really wanting to mash it up from the very start. And uh, I loved maps. I had kind of a blog website. It was uh, 2004, 2005. And I really was excited by the idea of combining those two things. And I've been doing that for myself and for clients uh, in one capacity or another ever since then. Uh, I call it the mad mashups because uh, the part I enjoy the most is uh, sort of the freewheeling, carefree, uh, surfing part of just combining whatever I find, going trying something new, uh, doing things that I wouldn't do to a client site, uh, playing with experiments, and finding other people who are doing this kind of stuff too. And uh, that is how I think uh, the possibilities get expanded of what we can do with WordPress and how we can make mashups with it. And uh, I will explain what I mean by that, by a mashup. Um, by itself, WordPress is great. We have Code Poet. It's elegant. Uh, code is poetry. Uh, but like a great work of art, you might look at it uh, and it stands alone, but you sometimes feel the desire to add your own little something, to mash it up with something else that you like. So then it's mashup time. That's what a mashup is. To make one, we start with one good thing. Uh, in the, our case, that's WordPress. And we add something else that we like. It was Google Maps for me. It might be Flickr. You might add more stuff, too, that uh, is useful to you or interesting or something your client's interested in, Stripe, Salesforce. <coughs> but the most important thing uh, is symbolized here. This is a a Greek chimera. It's the perfect symbol of a mashup. Uh, it's a bunch of different animals mashed up together. We, it's usually depicted as a fire-breathing lion, goat, snake, animal mashup. Uh, that's kind of the standard, but it's come to be a symbol of imagination because it clearly presents the possibilities combining different animals. Uh, what would your animal be? Uh, maybe you would mash up a, a praying mantis and uh, a lizard and a capybara. Uh, so it presents all of these possibilities. A capybara, uh, I just love the name. It's the, the largest rodent, I think. <laughs> but uh, so it symbolizes uh, what you imagine, what makes you unique. And that, of course, is your awesome content. Uh, or in my case, and probably in a lot of our cases, uh, that ends up being uh, our client's awesome content. There are really two parts to, to the mashup. The, the content is the essential part that uh, makes the experience what it is, but there's also uh, the ingredients and the technologies that we're mashing up together in order to achieve that. And that's what I am, would like to explore here. So I'd like to share with you uh, some others, and we'll see how they have gone mad before us in mashing up WordPress. So we recognize the WordPress backend. We create posts, and they look kind of like this. Uh, and this is uh, the back end of a site called Urban Capture, and there's, that just looks like WordPress, and we don't see any mashup really there, except for there's some uh, reference to images. I'm looking at a uh, harbor building, uh, something about that. But on the front end, we see this, and so Urban Capture is uh, 
a site that has mashed up uh, WordPress and Google Maps and Photomoto. So it's a photo blog. That's uh, clear on the front end. Um, I'm seeing our harbor uh, photo there and a map, uh, presumably, of other photos. So I'm going to experiment and see if I can actually bring up. This is the live site. So uh, this is the, I like this because the content, this is the client's content. It's not mine. Uh, this Roel uh, Vinken is his name. He's a photographer in Amsterdam. He does uh, urban photography. And this is clearly all about him, uh, his photos front and center, urban capture, what he's about. He likes urban photography. But right below it there, we see he's got uh, a map. And uh, the location of the photo is, is mashed up. And that's something that WordPress does not do by itself. So I'm going to try. I might have to <laughs> very slowly. I'm going to look at the world map here. And uh, I'm uh, going with my madness risking the, the internet here, but it looks like it's pretty good. Um, so here we have uh, an idea of all the places where he's, uh, he's done photographs. And I wish I could say he'd been to Reno, but I haven't gotten him here yet. Um, but we could find another place that uh, might be of interest to us. He's done lots of European photography. Um, so maybe Milan, Italy. And we've got a few things. Got a map there. Uh, and we get a thumbnail of his picture. So that's a piazza. Maybe that's not what we're interested in. But we've gotten right down to the location of the photos that uh, we're curious about really quickly. And say, oh, we like the composition of that one. We're interested in somebody on the steps in Milan. And we've got instantly stairs images. There's the one we like. The fun thing about uh, client mashups is uh, I'm not in control of this. This is uh, all him. And he'll, I see him playing with new stuff and uh, going out and risking <laughs> uh, finding new, using his imagination and his content too. So the last part of the mashup comes when we find our, our photograph that we're interested in. Now he's got uh, a buy download button. And he's uh, found a service, Photomoto, that he's using to sell his pictures. And you can get a download right here, personal or commercial. So that, to me, is uh, a really good example of a mashup. Uh, and it takes those three ingredients, and those are uh, things that some curious person, developer, or site curator has gone out and played with and discovered. And he's put them together, but uh, it fits his content perfectly. And it serves the users of his site really well. So it reminds me back of what Chris Lemma said. Not only is this fun for the developer and uh, doing what I like to do, doing, he's doing what he likes to do, but his users are getting served as well. And it's successful for everyone. So an even more uh, experimental personality that I've uh, come in contact with a little bit, uh, another photographer, Tom Mills. And he's done a similar thing. But this guy, he's, got the mad, he's the mad hatter. He wears the hat. And uh, I never know what's going to happen when I go to his site. So uh, I'm going to take the risk today and see what it's like. Uh, so he has, again, a uh, world map. He's based in London, so he does a lot of these 3D panoramas in London that he likes to highlight. And uh, we can see that he does a whole bunch of them. And when we mouse over, we get a preview. That one looks awfully cool. Uh, and if I click on that, I get a a nice uh, looking large photo of uh, fireworks. But the cool thing about this is that I can look any direction I want to. I can see the people. I can probably make you sick. 
Woo! <laughs> so he does these. Uh, I'm not even familiar with the technology he uses, but I helped him. He uses uh, my plugin for the mapping part, and he goes crazy. He's always adding, uh, trying new stuff, and uh, keeping me uh, apprised of uh, what's possible using the technology that I gave him. I find that really exciting. So of course, it's not just about photos. Uh, they make good content example. But anything you can create with WordPress, you're going to be able to mash it up with something else that uh, enhances it and works for you and your users. So uh, yesterday, Natalie McLeese beat me to uh, the punch here with her awesome uh, mashup presentation. But this as well, very presentation. Uh, is we're looking at a WordPress site here. This is a WordPress mashup. Um, it uses uh, impress.js, a JavaScript library. And here we see a little screenshot of the back end. This is the very slide we're looking at in this very presentation. Uh, and again, I hope maybe I'm eating my own tail and doing loops and uh, surprising us here. So where does this all end once we swallow our own tail? It doesn't end, of course. Uh, there's always new ingredients to try. Um, and what are those ingredients? What uh, determines uh, what we can mash WordPress up with? Um, and it boils down to anything with an API. Uh, that's an application programming interface. I'm sure most of us know that term by now. Everything is. Uh, getting APIs. So we have web services. Uh, the Google Maps that we've been looking at is a web service. We have uh, media web services like Flipkr. We have social uh, media web services. And they're popping up uh, all over the place all the time. We also have libraries uh, that do cool stuff that have APIs. So uh, the impress.js that uh, is running this slideshow is a library that I've uh, mashed up WordPress with here. Uh, and if we use our imagination, uh, hardware also uh, is more and more having an API. So I don't have any, I would love to be able to show you an example of this, but I don't have one yet. But I can imagine that WordPress, uh, we're going to be wanting to mash it up with more input devices. Um, the thing that pops directly into my mind is last weekend uh, at the Reno Collective, there was a NASA Space Apps Challenge. And uh, Colin and his team were working with doing remote control of a robotic submarine. And that submarine had an API. And uh, you could extend that further if you had a WordPress blog that was about your project with this sub. You might want to have a widget that displays the current position of the sub, the status. You might want to have a widget that lets you drive the sub. Uh, so you know, we, we're going to be mashing up WordPress with lots of new stuff, and the possibilities are just exploding. So WordPress has a built-in natural way for us to make mashups as developers. Uh, or as users, and that's with plugins. So I've been uh, using ma the term mashup, but uh, it's really just another word for integration. Uh, so we're integrating WordPress with other stuff. And WordPress uh, does this uh, through its plugin API. We can see in the codex. Uh, that's where it all starts, where we can take control of WordPress and make it do stuff using the plugin API. So uh, the interesting thing as we uh, get excited and go out there to discover uh, what's going on, what the plugins are that will do mashups for us, uh, if we search the 
the WordPress plugin repository. These are all open source for the word integration. We're going to get over a thousand uh, plugins as a result. So uh, there's our mashup possibilities already are pretty big. All of those, I'm guessing, are some kind of mashup. Um, just maps. That, we're looking at 795 today. That is up quite a bit just since I wrote the presentation. Payment, 454. Uh, some of them are tagged. Uh, Twitter, we can see along here, 1275. Google, 1269. So uh, we are down the mashup rabbit hole for sure. And uh, as developers, we are going to make lots more. And a lot of what we're doing is going to be mashing stuff up. And uh, some of the plugin examples we've seen so far is uh, GeoMashup. That's my mapping plugin. There's, as you've seen, many others. Uh, Photomoto for that uh, photo service. And this one uh, that's running this presentation is 3D presentation. Uh, I didn't write this, but uh, somebody uh, made a, the plugin, wrote the software to glue together the impress.js library with WordPress. And then I used that to create this presentation. So in that case, he did the programming and I did the content. And that's uh, how a lot of the, the teamwork works these days. Uh, before I get to this, I, there was one thing. <laughs> uh, I've heard a lot of developers sort of lament that uh, it's, our work is boiling down to gluing together APIs. And uh, I guess some people think that's not programming or that that's kind of sad. There's a sense of loss there somehow. I don't feel this. I'm, uh, I get really excited by APIs. I think that there is as much variety in the creation and the use of APIs as in any other kind of programming. And uh, I'll go, I'll cruise APIs, like uh, the sites that I like and use, uh, I'll kind of say, oh, that's, that site's okay, but uh, let's look, see if it's got an API. Ooh, did you see the API on that site? He's like, I'd call that. <laughs> And I, I, I know it's going to call me back. So, you know, discovering APIs, using them, creating them, uh, it's, it's an art. Uh, they can be beautiful. They can be ugly. A lot of sites will take a stab at it. And uh, I don't know if I'll have time, but uh, I'll show you one. I'll discover sometimes sites that used to have an API that they sort of covertly support but don't anymore because they've discovered it's going to take two or three tries to really get this right. And when you see the services that are offered through an API, then uh, you get a feeling uh, you can get excited about it or uh, immediately see problems. Sometimes you might not see the problems till you use it. But uh, in any case, there's lots of room for creativity and improvement and exciting developments there. All right, so another couple of examples. Um, I found a library, and this is just me fun. Uh, I doubt this is going to make any of my clients any money. But uh, just for my play, uh, discovering how there might be something in, in a mashup like Asteroids or a library like Asteroids JS that's doing something useful uh, or interesting that I might be able to put to work in another way sometime. So, it's fuel for the imagination. But this uh, is a JavaScript library, just some nice uh, JavaScript code somebody with a good sense of fun wrote. And uh, there's a plugin called Asteroids Widget. And so that uh, mashes up WordPress with asteroids.js. And the result. We can see a screenshot here is uh, mayhem. And we'll try to see if I can. Uh, come on. Oh. 
So we've got a widget here, click to play asteroids. Uh, on This is my standard, of course, 2012 site. This is the, the front end of the site that's running the presentation. So I click that button and I get a little asteroid ship. I can fly it around <laughs> and I can blow stuff up. <laughs> Now, if that doesn't make money for somebody, it, it's worth, <laughs> it's, it has to exist, you know? We've got to play. So, uh, asteroids mash up. So we can get really excited about this and go crazy and uh, find a mashup for any new concept that we got uh, introduced to. Uh, I wanted just to do a quick, uh, look at Bitcoin, because I heard a really interesting talk about Bitcoin the other day. So I looked for uh, mashups of WordPress with Bitcoin. Here's this service. It's hard to, uh, it's for generating Bitcoins, uh, not too clear what it does. I dug around for it a little bit. Uh, couldn't find anywhere clear that there were terms or uh, so. I looked at the plugin, and you know, there's a clue. <laughs> Couple of one-star reviews, ratings, but I always look at the reviews because uh, my plugin's got a bunch of one-stars, and they're all anonymous. I don't know how they came or what the problem was, and so there's no uh, actual complaint here. Uh, so the next thing I do is look at the support. Oh, there's. You know, it might not be true. Maybe it's not a scam. Maybe it's not fraudulent. But in any case, uh, my madness only extends so far. I think I'll pass on this one. But uh, the idea of uh, Bitcoin mashup, WordPre WordPress mashup, I think that's still wide open. Somebody's uh, going to do it, do it right. Maybe this is it, and, uh, and it will recover. But plugins aren't the only way uh, that we can do mashup. Apps uh, will, are out there that mash up WordPress for us already. They'll use, uh, often the WordPress comes natively with uh, an API that lets you control it from the outside, the XML RPC API. Uh, and there's also plugins that are, will provide alternative Word APIs for WordPress, so you can control it from another app. And Jetpack's JSON API is, uh, one example of that. So one of my favorite uh, recent examples is uh, an app called Draft, which is just a nice, elegant uh, text editing app. And if anybody uh, is uh, really on it, you can uh, try it at that link and actually see this document that's being displayed. But you can edit text with markup. Uh, it'll revision control it for you. It'll let you collaborate and uh, merge uh, somebody else's work with your own change by change. It does it in a smart way. Uh, and I've been having some fun with that. But it also mashes up with WordPress via that XML API. So this bit of text that we're looking at here, when I publish it, looks like this to WordPress. So it's uh, made a post for me. Um, there's my text, but it's now HTML. It's got a link, and there's my image. Uh, I want people to like my blog, so I used a kitten. <laughs> so <laughs> mashup, uh, draft mashes up Markdown, WordPress. It also integrates with uh, Google Drive, Twitter. It'll sync with a lot of different things, publishing platform. Uh, it actually it mashes up uh, personal writing services. You can ask for help, uh, somebody to edit your uh, give you feedback on your, your writing there. Another example uh, that I have, would have to mention for an app is uh, if this, then that. If you're not familiar with that, uh, it's a platform that integrates just about anything. Uh, and there's probably not going to be time, but uh, you could, uh, I've set up a rule here. So whoop, if, uh, I have a Twitter feed, so this isn't going to work too much longer. Twitter's shutting this down, but uh, 
right now I have it listening to uh, tweets, the same ones we've got up here, except for the hashtag mad mashups. If you were to tweet something like that, then if this then that might take up to 15 minutes, but it's going to actually post it to the presentation we're looking at. Uh, and so that uh, enables you to combine different things with WordPress uh, in a super flexible way. You write your own if then uh, actions and mash up WordPress with other stuff. Okay, we like code. So my last few minutes, I'm going to give some mashups for uh, more code oriented developers like myself, stuff that I've been playing with recently. The exciting recent development is double WP CLI, that's command line interface. Um, so what this does is mash up uh, WordPress with the command line, uh, any kind of shell command line, whether you use bash, I've seen that it work, people have it working on PowerShell and Windows. But this lets you uh, control WordPress from the command line. Uh, so if we look at what I've done here, I have in my web directory, I've created a, a brand new directory called CLI. This command downloads WordPress and installs it. Well, it downloads it into that directory. Uh, I then use MySQL to create a new database. Um, and here I have some little uh, command line foo to create my WP config file uh, without actually editing it. In real life, I might just edit it in this case, but uh, if you're going to be scripting things, this kind of thing is really handy. And then I say install core. I give it my URL, uh, title for the blog, my admin name, uh, email, and password. And it says, hey, you've got WordPress here now. So without even touching a web browser, I've now got a running website. And if I uh, even want to go further, I can create a new plugin on that website using the command line also. So here I say WP scaffold uh, plugin. Scaffold is creating a scaffolding for a new plugin. I'll call it mad plugin. Uh, we'll give it a name, and that N we can't quite see says activate it. And uh, that creates a plugin directory. Interesting something creates something within test files, and it says, okay, I've activated that. So now we have a live website with an active plugin that's brand new, still never touched a browser. And that even generated a unit test. So still on the command line, I can uh, go into that plugin directory. Uh, this assumes I have uh, a test directory with WP unit tests installed. I do, so uh, if I, and I have PHP unit installed. With those two prerequisites, I can just uh, give it the XML file that the command generated for me. And it's going to go through here and say, hey, there's a mad plugin with a unit test configuration. Uh, and in one second, I ran one test and passed one assertion. So all that uh, just from a quick command line. And the web interface here, if I finally can't resist going to check that it actually happened. Uh, I can see that here's my mad mashup sample. It's got some placeholder text. It's active, and I've got a working website from that command line. This is all scriptable, uh, which is really important uh, and useful. Uh, means we can mash WordPress up with any other command line programming, and we can do build, provisioning, testing, uh, SSH access to it, all kinds of stuff that was a little bit hard in WordPress before. And I want to finish off uh, mentioning 10UP's uh, uh, recent project called Varying Vagrant Vagrants. Uh, Vagrant is a, a virtual machine, so I can actually have run a virtual machine via the command line on my computer. Uh, that virtual machine can be a WordPress server. Their installation with just a couple of commands uh, will, and I'm looking at their script that they run when you actually start this virtual machine. Uh, here they're using the WP command line to do the same thing that I just did, install WordPress under a default name. And uh, so you 
uh, tell it to run this virtual machine, and you've got WordPress running on a server on your laptop uh, instantly. And that's going to uh, provide a lot of uh, powerful things. So that's it. Go forth and mash up. Uh, this is a list of some more examples of uh, mashups that I love and plugins that are good for mashups that I like to do. And uh, have fun with it. You're going to get uh, some more details of that from our next speaker, Colin, who we are going to set up to go really quick here. Thank you.